camel thighs, long hair, no wedding ring. Hey. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kinella Rato Pashoka, if you do not know me, and welcome to another episode of Lockdown Devotion. It's literally 10 past 11 as I'm filming this because I really need to share with share this with you guys so in today's episode of lockdown devotion we're going to be talking about the character of children right i hope you can hear me because like literally people are sleeping and i don't want to make noise but anyway so we're going to be talking about the character of children right um i want us to read the word of god from mark 10 from verses 13 to 16. if you have your bible grab it otherwise you can read on the screen I will place it there so it says people were bringing their little children to Jesus to place his hands on them but the disciples rebuked them when Jesus saw this he was indignant and he said to them let the children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these so what was happening is um, Jesus was Jesus was praying for people and people decided oh no we're gonna take the children to Jesus to lay hands on them and then the disciples were like no 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 not happening but then Jesus was actually disappointed and rebuked them I don't know let them come to me I will lay hands upon them and then he further says truly I tell you anyone who will not receive the wait let the children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these truly I tell you Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will not, will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them and blessed them. Right. So what we hear here is that God or Jesus was saying that we should receive the kingdom of God like children. And he blesses such and also these kind of people who have the character of children will enter the kingdom of heaven, right? So, when I was uh, reading the scripture, um, what happened actually was, okay, I'm at a point in my life where as I was asking God for, uh, or I still am asking God for guidance, I'm asking God to, to lead me because I really want to please him and I want to live for his kingdom, I want to do what uh, satisfies his kingdom i want to be aligned to his will and his way right so the holy spirit guided me to this very scripture and i was looking at it but and then i thought to myself what is it that is so much uh, that god wants uh, us to have character that is of children i went on and i searched uh, the character that is of children and i actually have some things that i wrote um that children have like for example, children live in the present, of which I barely do, and I feel like that is something that we need to implement in our lives. I'm sh pretty sure that I'm not the only one. Um, I remember listening to an interview when Bumili Dwaba went, I think it was forever and always, uh, whereas she was being interviewed by Michelle, and Bumu was talking about how her child would literally be eating a stro strawberry and be in it like, bro this is a strawberry and she took that and she's like if i were to be eating a strawberry i'm like literally this is a strawberry it's a strawberry and then throw it away like like i'm not living in the present that's what she was basically saying and i took this and looked at my life i'm like literally um i keep praying and hoping that god i wish i would live in 10 years from now because i'm gonna be many i'm gonna be what 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 you know and not live in the present and when you hear people people actually miss varsity and some people don't like don't even get to get to varsity and yet you understand so we need to learn to live in the moment as much as we can have goals for the future we can aim for the future and all of that but we need to live in the present and enjoy the time that god has given us that way when we enjoy and live in the pro present we show gratitude to god we're like god we're grateful that you have given us this time and this time we're going to enjoy and be happy in it you understand and another thing that i i i read um about the character of, of of children is that they always want to please their parents right um another scenario is um 
I was reading on Insta story um where Jess Jessica Ngosi was talking about this other day when she had a birthday and then Nami Nami is her daughter and then uh, literally came to her and hugged her and she sat on her chest and uh, she said that Nami sat there for a while until she felt like okay now I'm fine when I looked at this was because I was I looked at an oh god I looked at it at an angle whereas Nami was trying to make sure that the mother was okay and was trying to make sure that no I need to please my mother I need to make sure that I do what makes her happy you understand so even with us let us do what makes God happy because God is still God and when we make him happy that is way um, that is where he actually blesses us you know as we read down the scripture at the end it tells us are and he took the children in his arms placed his hand placed his hands on them and blessed them you know and really when we live like children in the kingdom of god that is where we're going to get blessings that is where god actually blesses us because we are doing what he requires us to do we are doing we are living in his purpose we are living in his like will we are aligning ourselves with the will of god you understand and there are many other things you know and you know i was there was a time where as i was looking at my relationship with my father or as children when, we, when you look at children and their fathers literally children would be going through the most like let's say for example some kid wants to beat up the little child the child will defend themselves and say you know my dad is gonna come i'm gonna tell my daddy you know that's literally how we need to be with our with our with our god because um god is our defender god is always there for us we need to have that kind of relationship with him we know what even in our times of trouble god is there when in times of happiness god is there like god is not leave us nor forsake us god is forever there so let us remember that god is god and let us have that relationship with him let us read his word and live in his purpose um the few other characteristics that i wrote about children is that children are always happy they are loving and they really get along with everyone they're not like us who like i have a grudge on somebody that is gonna last for me like 10 years no they're not like that and they listen and do as instructed with us when god guides uh, tells us let to go do this this hey the so there's so many reasons that i would give for me not to go there but children listen they literally bring you that bottle you understand and they are active we need to be active in the word of god we need to be active in the kingdom of god serve god you know in church whatever that we do let us be active you know and then they are always willing to learn they don't hold on to anger they find security in their parents you understand so now honestly it does make sense to me uh, that we need to have character of children and i pray every single day i'm like god help me to have this very character that you want me to have because the word of God tells us that these kind of people are the ones that enter the kingdom of God. And bro, I'm trying to get to heaven, okay? And also, um, I'm trying to be blessed. I'm trying to be obedient to God because I know that is where my blessings are at. Because I'm trying to live a lavish life, okay? I'm trying to make some money, okay? So, yeah, and I know that is what God wants for us. That's what God desires for us. And, yeah, so let us live in the moment and live lives which please God and... Um, show that God we are grateful for everything that you do for us and we are always willing to do as you say so that is a bit from me another video I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it does make a difference in your life and yeah that's about it please comment like and subscribe if you haven't we are on our road to 1k and um, follow me on all my social platforms instagram facebook twitter tiktok i'll link them somewhere in the description box do something so bye